every single restaurant has chicken and waffles on your menu, right? Because now it's, it's like a thing. People have seen the success of this restaurant and they think if they just add that one dish, they can weigh in on that success. But for me, it's bigger than just chicken and waffles, right? Notice I don't, I don't brand myself as a black chef or a fusion chef or a Mexican chef or a Jamaican chef or whatever. I consider myself contemporary Canadian because it's very essential to get that message across because my cooking is influenced by the Canadian diaspora, which means that like people come from all different walks of life in Canada. You could be Filipino, you could be African, you could be Chinese, you could be Mexican. Everybody lives here. And I feel like because Canada within itself doesn't really have its own identity when it comes to cuisine, those people that make up this country, that is the cuisine, right? So I like to consider myself a contemporary Canadian chef because I want to bring other culture and foods to the forefront. And I want that to represent Canada as a whole when it comes to cuisine. I would say Malcolm Gladwell's the outside outliers because it tells you that doesn't matter what it is that you do, you have to hone your craft and you got to put in 10,000 hours before um, you're professional or you've mastered said craft like Michael Jordan, Barack Obama, a lot of um, very popular people in the media have read this book and they believe in the philosophy that you need to put that 10,000 hours in. I've read this book personally and I think the philosophy works. The one piece of business advice I never got was always make sure you have paperwork. It's very, very essential. I've done a lot of business deals on a handshake and a smile and a lot of people are very, very fake in the entertainment industry, just in business in general. And you know, well, I, I get it. People are out for themselves, right? So I kind of understand the whole concept of that, but I have integrity and I want to be able to sleep at night. So I wouldn't be, I'm not in the business of screwing people over. But yeah, I would say get some sort of documentation signed if you're doing business because it's a cold world out there and people will shaft you if they get the chance. That's just what it is. That's just the, the, the facts of life. People can get in touch with me various ways. They can come to the restaurant. I'm here, here and there. They might catch me if they do slip by, but I would say come to the restaurant. I'm here most of the time. Or if they want to know more about me, they can go to visit my website, which is adrianforte.com or any form of social media. I'm pretty outgoing, I don't bite, so yeah.